Tim came to me and he defined a, a problem. The problem that he defined was, is he wanted to uh, capture shock, he wanted to capture temperature, and so that he could create uh, a warning mechanism for a particular player who had been exposed to those types of hits. And he wanted to do it quickly, and we wanted to do it under the, the guise of all the uh, approval and so forth. And so our task was to rapidly prototype this and then be in a position to leverage that activity and put it into play as fast as possible. One of the first items that happens when someone has a, a, a brainstem injury is they lose their balance. And so Tim came up with a baseline test that they go through a series of yoga poses and then based on that you can determine whether a person has had an injury and, and based on the tilt mechanism inside of these gyros and accelerometers we actually kind of can determine whether or not a person has deviated from what their baseline test is and whether or not they've actually been in a position of, of recurring kind of brain injuries and whether or not they're well enough to participate. The device isn't going to tell you you have a concussion but it's going to tell you where you've been previously when you're okay and all of a sudden that if you can't balance or if you can't do certain things this electronic device is going to tell you otherwise that hey you know for the last four events before you went out there you fell between these two parameters now all of a sudden you're outside those parameters what has changed so if, did you hurt yourself did you fall and hit your head or did you sprain an ankle you know why is it that you can't balance correctly they're only now starting to realize that it's the progressiveness it's not just the, the one-time hit that you take, it's all of the hits that you take. And so what our product is geared toward is creating that data, creating histograms for all that, so that whenever it comes to place, that a parent or guardian say, you know, I can see now that the, we've gone from a stoplight data, that we might be in a yellow zone, I'm just going to make the decision that I, wanna, I, wanna, I don't want to do this right now. Or if we've gone past that yellow zone, we're into a red zone, where they've taken a 70G hit for a, for a high school kid or something, immediately that they know that we're not saying you've been concussed because nobody can say that with data right now. But what we're saying is you have been exposed. Get the proper help to make a determination of whether you have got that an error on the side of safety. And that's, that's Tim's agenda. A lot of times these things are, are, are not seen. It's the educational purposes, but now you have hard data that's gonna go behind this. And that's where, you, you know, a coach at a, a higher elite level, you know, might wanna have his uh, player or his son sometimes as the case. You know, when the coach says, hey, why did you pull my son out? Or, you know, the parent comes over and says, why did you pull my son out? You know, well, here, he just took 80 Gs of hit. And you know what? I think at this point we need to at least sit him down, at least go through a baseline testing, recertify him, make sure he's okay. But a lot of these kids and parents just don't understand what concussions are.